It's happened again. It's hard to believe it's happened again. There's something different when it happens to children, when it happens inside of a school. It's just every time you think this has to be the last time. We can't be living in this inhumane of a society. And yet you get proven wrong. 19 innocent elementary school children, elementary school children, and two teachers gunned down while trying to learn. Probably sitting there getting excited for the end of the year. Summer so close you can taste it. There's an extra happy atmosphere inside of school these days, you know, amongst the teachers and the students, right? Can't you see it when you drop your own kids off right now? And they went into their elementary school just outside of San Antonio, Texas in a town called Uval, and they were murdered, 19 kids, at a school in a truly evil attack, along with two teachers. Evil. There's no other word for it. It's a story that's become all too familiar in America. A male, teenaged, loner, reportedly bullied from a troubled family, absentee mom, absentee dad, posts disturbing content online, warning signs, to those paying attention, but who was, who was in this case, who then goes on to kill in cold blood mercilessly. Today, we're learning more disturbing details about this 18-year-old killer and how he managed to obtain his guns. We will not be naming him, consistent with my own longstanding policy, since studies have shown that mass shooters typically desire infamy and we decline to help, and others in the media would do well to pay attention to that. But before we get to all that, more on the lives taken yesterday in Texas. It's almost too much to bear. But what kind of a society are we if we brush past the innocent children who were killed in an effort to go right to policy? It makes it too easy for us, those of us who are still here, those of us who need to take a hard look at what leads to something like this. These little children were casualties in whatever societal sickness this is. And they deserve to be remembered. Like fourth grader, a Mary Jo Garza. Her grandmother spoke to the Daily Beast. She appears to have spoken with a classmate of a Mary's. And says the gunman walked into the classroom and told the children, you're going to die. It's horrific. This little girl did what she had likely been taught to do by the adults who loved her. She called 911 for help. And the gunman shot her as she did. Her best friend was, oh, look at this little girl. Her best friend was sitting next to a Mary and wound up covered in her blood. Also among the dead, 10-year-old McKenna Elrod, a family friend posted online, sweet McKenna, look at her, with her bright red headband, her sassy smile. She looks like she knows something, doesn't she? Her friend posted, sweet McKenna, rest in paradise. My heart is shattered as my daughter loved her so much. It's not just the family members who grieve. It's everyone in the town, in the community, the friends, the family, the church members, and now all of us. Another family's burden, that much more horrific, because they are now being forced to bury two children. One is 10-year-old Annabelle Guadalupe Rodriguez. Her desperate father spent much of the day searching for her until the worst news of his life was confirmed. Her cousin was also killed, but has not yet been named. 10-year-old Xavier Javier Lopez also died. He's being remembered as a child who was bubbly and loved to dance with his brothers and his mom. 8-year-old Osea Garcia's grandfather says he was the sweetest little boy he had ever known. They last saw each other over spring break and played football. His grandfather says he could really catch the ball well. And then there are the teachers. Ava Morales One of the first victims identified a loving mother and wife who is said to have been someone who lived life to the fullest. Absolutely beautiful outside in this shot in front of the mountains, looking so happy. And Irma Garcia, a mother of four, she'd been nominated for Teacher of the Year not long ago. There are more. This is just a snapshot of some of the lives lost. As the devastated community gathered, the Archbishop of San Antonio could be seen comforting families outside the Civic Center. One man there was heard sobbing into his phone. She's gone. 
Meanwhile, in Washington, the flag at the U.S. Capitol building was lowered in honor of those killed. We now know that the gunman was finally stopped by a Border Patrol agent who was nearby when the shooting broke out. We do not yet know the identity of that agent, but we understand he was injured in the fight. We've also learned more about the events leading up to the attack and that police were on the scene before the killer barricaded himself in a classroom. Listen. So what we do know is that the shooter was involved in a uh, domestic disturbance with his grandmother prior to the shooting at the school. He did shoot his grandmother at that point. He then fled in a vehicle and was in close proximity near the school where we got calls to local law enforcement at the Uvalde Police Department received a call of a crashed vehicle and a individual armed with a weapon uh, making his way into the school. At that point, we had local law enforcement, uh, school officers, as well as state troopers uh, who were first on scene and were able to hear the actual gunshots inside the class. Classroom. They tried to make entry into the building. They were met with gunfire by the suspect, by the shooter. Some of those officers were shot. So at that point, they began breaking windows around the school, trying to evacuate children, teachers, anybody they could, uh, trying to get them out of that building, out of that school. What we do know at that point, the shooter was able to make entry into a classroom, barricaded himself inside that classroom, and again, just began shooting uh, numerous children and teachers that were in that classroom. Just began shooting anyone that was in his way. At that point, we had a tactical law enforcement mm-hmm. team arrive uh, made up of multiple federal officers, local officers, as well as state troopers that were able to make forcible entry into that classroom. They were met with gunfire as well, but they were able to shoot and kill that suspect. As you just heard, the killer also shot his own grandmother prior to the attack on the school. We are told as of this hour, she is in critical condition. That information eerily reminiscent of another mind boggling school shooting. Newtown. In that attack nearly 10 years ago, the gunman shot and killed his own mother before going on to murder 20 six and seven year olds at Sandy Hook Elementary and another six adults. Are the high fuel costs putting a damper on your summer vacation plans? Womp womp. From higher prices at the pump to a jump in airfare, it is getting more expensive to get away for a week. But what if you didn't need to? What if you could soak up those vacation vibes year round? Get yourself a Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. Whether you want to stay close to home this summer or you just want to extend your break. You know, when you come back from vacation, you feel kind of let down. You won't now. A Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas can transform your own backyard into an oasis. It combines the benefits of a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. Look at this. Doesn't this look enjoyable? Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas have a water current so you can swim, you can do aquatic exercises, and you can have fun with the kids. The water buoyancy will relieve pressure on aching joints. Enjoy pure relaxation in the massage therapy seats of the swim spa and reinvent your family time while you're doing it. You will love it. Your family and friends will too. Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas come in a whole bunch of different sizes that will complement almost any yard, even if it's a tiny backyard. Check it out. You won't believe. And since it's heated, you can use it year round in any climate. Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas. That's the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK, and you will save $1,000 on a Michael Phelps Swim Spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.